So from the track to the field, the final of the women's long jump. 12 athletes in total made it through qualifying. You can see the records there. Look at the distance of some of those. But the world leader, Tiana Bartoletta, will start in this final. The world long jump champion 10 years ago. And she's a nippy sprinter as well. Led off the UA's world record sprint relay team at the London Olympics. She runs sub 11 seconds. But Spanovic there of Serbia, very impressive in qualifying. As was Shara Proctor from Great Britain and Northern Ireland. So the athletes now will be introduced one by one in this women's long jump final. No Brittany Reese from America. She didn't make it through qualifying. But Lorraine Ugan of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, 6 metres and 92 this year. And a nice qualification of 6 metres and 87 to the final. Cardi Sagnia of Sweden, former Youth Olympic champion at the triple jump, set a personal best of 6.71 to qualify. Christabel Netti of Canada, the world number two, 6 metres and 99 this year. Coached by Dan Paff, who had a wonderful competition with Greg Rutherford and Fabrice Lapierre in the men's equivalent. Katharina Johnson-Thompson of Great Britain, 6.79 to qualify. Looking to end her championships a lot better than it started, fouling out in the long jump in the heptathlon, of course. But here is Tiana Bartoletta of the USA. The face says it all, she's here for business. Seven meters and 12 centimeters this year. Daya Klashina of Russia, twice the European indoor champion. Coached by Lauren Seagrave, based in Florida now. Natasia Ivanova of Belarus. She finished fourth at these World Championships back in 2011, just off the podium. 6.76 to qualify. Jeanette Deloach of the United States won Olympic bronze in London in 2012, just under 6 metres and 70 to qualify. Just under 7 metres this year for the American. Erika Jada of Sweden then. 6 metres and 17 qualifying European indoor bronze a couple of years ago. But this lady was very impressive in qualifying from Serbia. Ivana Spanovic, a Serbian record of 6 metres and 91. Really was a wonderful jump. And then the final two athletes, Malika Mihambo of Germany. For many, the shock winner of the European Team Championships last year. And she jumped 6 metres and 90, the 21 year old. And Shara Proctor of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, 6.98 this season. As a coach that's just helped a man called Christian Taylor jump 18 metres and 21 to win a triple jump gold. Bounces on the runway for her first attempt in this long jump final. No mark's been recorded yet, a no jump by Ugen and Sagnia of Sweden. The Pan American Games champion this year, the Canadian record holder. Trying to do what a Canadian athlete has never done. They've never had a woman in the top eight in a world championship final, let alone anywhere near the podium. Is it about to change for Canada and for Christabel Netti? Her first attempt in this long jump final. Well, oh, she's got good speed, really does get going. Well, uh, ooh, from the crowd, a little skip out the pit. The white flag is raised. We had slight headwinds in those hurdle semi-finals. Perfect on the board, little bit to spare. Six meters and 95 is coming through on the computer. That is an outstanding start for the Canadian. Her lifetime best is six meters and 99. Boom, that's your way to start the World Championship final. A wonderful crowd. Ivanova coming up for her first attempt. The Belarusian, six meters and 76 in qualifying for this final. Good speed, decent height. But everybody, of course, chasing that first round jump of Christabel Netti of Canada. 
A huge leap of six metres and 95. Talk about making a statement. Comfortable on the board, though, for Ivanova. Seventh at the London Olympics. Nice, simple hang technique. There have been a few no jumps in this first round in this women's long jump final, but six metres and 66. The Belarusian goes into the silver medal position. Sukup of the USA then in this women's long jump final. Now you can see the seven metre line. Had some super jumping so far in this women's long jump final. Massive jumps already being posted and Sukup, the American. Six metres and 67. Puts her into the silver medal position, early doors in the final. I think she's actually dropped the Sukup now, actually, Catherine. But, uh... Thank you, Peter. Spanovic. She was wonderful in qualifying. Oh, that's big. Well, she qualified with that national record. The coach likes it. 6.91 she did to qualify for this final. Only one woman in the world this year has gone over the seven-metre barrier. And that's Tiana Bartoletta, who is in this final. The early lead was set by Netty, six metres and 95. She's continued the form from qualifying the distances are weighted seven metres and one, another national record, over seven metres already in this women's long jump final. Lorraine Ugen of Great Britain, a no jump in the first round. The world number 10 this year, she's gone out to 6.92, she's going to need those distances tonight. Oh, that's better. Oh, she's nearing the seven metre line. Made the corrections, the white flag is raised. Everybody now chasing that seven meter plus jump. The US collegiate champion outdoors a couple of years ago. Really has put the work in, talking to her this season. The changes have been made and she's reaping the reward. Look at the height. The leg extension was superb. 687 in qualifying. Six metres and 85, she goes into the bronze medal position. Sagnia of Sweden then takes to the runway. Six metres and 67 in the first round. Six metres and 67 in the second round, excuse me, after a no jump in the first round. See the little symbol, she's given away about four centimetres, but we've seen some wonderful jumping over seven metres is leading. Christabel Netti was the world number two, she's now the world number three, because Spanovic has gone out to a Serbian record of 7.01. That's the jump of six metres and 67 then by the Swedish athlete. Moving yourself up, of course, in terms of the no jump in the first round. So, Bartoletta of the USA. She knows she's got a fight on, a no jump in the first round. Oh, that's better. Look at the speed she generates. I mentioned how fast she was. She'll run 100 meters in 10.85. She's done a 10.94 clocking this year as the American. After that no jump in the first round, she might not generate the height, considering the speed she has, but she just keeps on a going. And that's near the seven metre line. That is better. Six metres and 95 into the bronze medal position. Nihambo of Germany then, a no jump in the first round. 6.84 to qualify for the 21-year-old. Just to get near and surpass that. Well, just shy of that seven-metre line. 
So, of course, an improvement. Remember, it's the top eight after the first three rounds that will get three further jumps. And the German there. Well, she's going to improve her position. Of course, she is after the X and the no jump. But is she getting near where she needs to be? Six metres and 79. Currently in fifth position. Shara Proctor of Great Britain and Northern Ireland likes the crowd support. A no jump in the first round. And when you've done six metres and 98, and you're comfortably near the top of the world rankings, she will not want to leave it until the third round and put pressure on herself. She'll want to get a good jump in. That's better. Oh, yes. Gives herself a little fist pump as she comes out the sand. The British record holder. Everybody knows now they're going to have to get up towards six metres and 90 and potentially beyond to get on the podium in this women's long jump final. Wonderful height generated by Proctor. And the coach likes it. Six metres and 87 into fourth place in this women's long jump final. Bartoletta then in the women's long jump final. The speed is never in doubt. It's the distance that she's going to have to get to maybe get a world championship gold medal in this long jump. Right in the middle of the 20 centimetre board. You're not landing near seven metres. You're not going to be invited to the party that will take place on a podium after this long jump final has concluded. Six metres and 87, no improvement for the American. She stays in silver. Jada of Sweden, two no jumps in the final. Now the concentration has to come. She needs to get in the top eight with her third and final effort. No, she seemed to lose the speed that she generated at the start of the run up. And that's not gonna be barely six and a half meters, which will not get the Swedish athlete who qualified with six meters and 70 into this women's long jump final. Her compatriot Sanya might be happy though because uh, Sanya remains in eighth and Yada hasn't overtaken her. Indeed, we're coming towards the conclusion of the third round and we will lose four athletes in this final. And Jada, well, that Swede will be one of them. And Sagnia holds on the other Swede with her jump of six meters and 67 in round two. Spanovic then of Serbia, a national record in the first round, seven meters and one. And no jump in the second. Can she go even further in this third round? Powerful running. Oh, it's over the seven meter line, but the red flag is raised. Gosh, she's been consistent in this World Championships, qualifying with the 691. A huge no jump in the end, trying to get any little single piece of advantage, the athletes in this final. So, so far, two no jumps, but a very impressive and a gold medal winning jump at the moment from Spanovic in the first round. Well, she can afford to go for a big one now, can't yep. she? Yep, she's trying to get every little centimetre because she knows she has that one in the tank. Hambo of Germany then. She's currently in sixth position with six metres and 79 in the second round. Only two jumpers left in this third round. So she'll go into the top eight for three further jumps. 6.79 and you're six in a world final. The standard is absolutely super. Here she goes then with her third attempt. Well, she's going to drop below the seven meter line and get the red flag, so it'll be no improvement in the third round for the Germans. She'll stay in sixth position with her six meters and 79. 
which means very shortly it'll be Great Britain's Shara Proctor, who's currently in fourth position, who will close out the third round in this women's long jump. I mean, conditions are very good, Catherine, aren't they? But it's interesting that, to me that uh, so they were for the men's long jump. But this relatively is a very much higher standard in depth. Closing the third round, training partner Christian Taylor clapping on Shara Proctor, currently in fourth position in this women's long jump final. Good speed, good height. Oh, that is huge, absolutely huge. Look at her face. Remember, she has the British record at six metres and 98. The white flag is raised. She's never been over seven metres. Has she surpassed it in the World Championship final? Good job, Shara, shouts Christian Taylor. She's giving a bid on the board, but this is absolutely huge from the Briton. It's been coming for a long time. If she's broke that magical seven metre line, not only will she take the lead in this world long jump final, but she'll smash, of course, her British record. What has she done? Seven metres and seven, a national record for Shara Proctor. That goes into the gold medal position. Janae Deloach of the USA in seventh position in this women's long jump final. Well, she's not going to potentially improve Deloach from the USA. Her best jump today, six metres and 67. Two women over seven metres, Catherine. This is a brilliant, brilliant standard. A little bit of a contrast to the men's long jump where only really Greg Rutherford found top form. Indeed. It's a refreshing difference, an exciting one, isn't it, as well? Six metres and 63, no improvement. Deloach stays in seventh. Well, Greg Rutherford of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, the men's long jump gold medalist, as you mentioned, eight metres and 41. Must have led a little bit of, left a bit of stardust on the runway for these ladies in their final. This is absolutely outstanding. Mihambo of Germany then, everybody chasing the Briton Shara Proctor's 707. Spanovic is second at the moment with seven metres of one. And the bronze, well, that is currently Bartoletta's with her jump of six metres and 95. So, Mihambo of Germany and the rest of this women's field in this long jump final. You know, you've got to jump six metres and 96 to even get a medal. No, it was a big jump, but it was a big no jump. And you look at the lifetime best of the other athletes in this field. Some of the big girls in terms of distances and years gone by have gone out and haven't even approached those marks for medals, but it doesn't mean they can't do it tonight. A no jump, she stays in sixth position. And both gold and silver at the moment are there, courtesy of national records. You cannot ask any more of an athlete than a lifetime best in a major final. You can't. The highest of British athletes ever finished is Jay Johnson in 2003. She finished fourth. Of course, Fiona May, born in Britain, went on to win two golds for Italy. But at the moment, Lorraine Ugin's teammate, Shara Proctor, is in the driving seat. Round number four, Ugin from Britain is in fifth position. Well, the simple technique drops below the seven meter line. All the athletes now really pushing the boundaries. When you've got to jump 696 to even get on the podium or 695, if your second jump will be better, that is pushing everybody to do things that they may not want to do because Ugin, a huge no jump there. She'll stay in fifth position in this final. Absolutely super stuff on the back straight here in the bird's nest. The women's long jump final, Spanovic in the silver medal position. She jumped a national record of 7.01. Shara Proctor went further with her national record for Great Britain. Now he's going to drop below the seven metre line. Her opening effort was that seven metres and one. There must have been a small part of her mind that thought, you know what, I've gone over seven metres here. Of course, she would have been happy with it. But then along comes a certain Briton called Shara Proctor and goes six centimetres further. So that'll be no improvement. 
6 metres and 86, she stays in the silver medal position. Shara Proctor of Great Britain in the gold medal position. Support from her coach and her training partner, Christian Taylor. He'd have given her some insight into this runway after his gold medal performance. Has she got more? Oh, gosh. She's starting to pepper the seven-metre line. I said before, this has been coming. It was all about nailing one at the right time for Shara Proctor. All season long, she's been getting, edging nearer and nearer to the seven-metre barrier. Doesn't look like he'll be an improvement on a seven metres and seven. But you know what? It's a very good backup if needed. Has she gone over the seven metre line again? Seven metres and one centimetre. The two furthest jumps of her life so far in this women's long jump final. Ten times over seven metres, this world championship long jump has been won in its history. Make that 11, two athletes over the seven metre barrier. Netty is one that can challenge because at her best, she has a personal best of six metres and 99. If she can repeat that kind of form, she'll get on the podium, one of only two athletes in the final that have gone near the magical barrier. No, she got the white flag. So far, her best is six metres and 95, and she's off the podium in fourth. Chasing Bartoletta's six metres and 95, Bartoletta in the bronze medal position because her second jump is 6 metres and 87, which is 2 centimetres better than Nettie's. Hence, it's Bartoletta in bronze behind Spanovic and Proctor. 6 metres and 84. She stays in fourth position with one more jump to try and get on the podium. Wow. Well, as a coach, Dan Paff, wow. I mentioned, has... a. Uh, Super Championships with the input into the male long jump champion of Greg Rutherford. Bartoletta, bronze medal position at the moment, fifth round. Well, she skips out the sand, the white flag is raised. To remind you, Spanovic is in silver with seven meters and one. Proctor leads with seven meters and seven. Bartoletta, who came into this competition and still has the best jump in the world this year at 7.12. Well, she may not be going home with the gold medal and she's performed pretty well here, but Spanovic and Shara Proctor have been a class above. National records. They've had the event of their lives so far. 6.94 for the American. Spanovic of Serbia, the silver medal position. She's only got two valid jumps in. First round, 7.01. Fourth round, 6.86. She needs to find another national record and seven centimetres to surpass the British athlete. Silence in the stadium. Well, she fell back on the landing. It looks just shy of the seven-metre line. It's a wonderful, consistent series in terms of the three jumps she's got in. Oh, that four centimetres on the board. Good height. The ponytail whipping in the sand. I don't think it's going to be enough. I don't think it's over the seven metre line. And I'm confident it's not going to challenge Shara Proctor's lead. Six metres and 98. And that keeps it in the silver medal position with one more jump in round number six to dethrone the potential champion. And here she is. Shara Proctor of Great Britain. Potentially a couple of jumps away from making Great Britain and Northern Ireland history. And not only that, 7.07, but a 7.01 as well. What an amazing night she's having. Two best jumps of her life when it matters. She concentrates. When she jumped six metres and 98, I asked her what she was thinking. She said, it was all a blur. I just ran and took off. It's working for her. Oh, it's huge. But the red flag is raised. Gosh, that was absolutely massive. What happens with athletes sometimes when you break a magical barrier in your event, even though it was a big long jump there and a big no jump, excuse me, 
you just start doing it all the time. And I've always believed that once she goes over the seven meter barrier and no jump there, she's gonna keep going over and over now. She's in the gold medal position for Great Britain. Tiana Bartoletta then in this women's long jump final. Looking to depose Shara Proctor, who's in the gold medal position. That is massive, surely. Surely we've got gone past seven meters and seven centimeters. She was the world leader when she arrived. We know she has it in the tank. She puts her hands in the air. Seven meters and 14 centimeters. Absolutely outstanding from the American. She had seven meters and 12 this season. That is a championship performance when it counts. The first time in the final, she's gone over seven meters and she goes into the gold medal position with a world-leading jump. Ten years ago, Tiana Madison won the long jump. Now, Tiana Bartoletta, same. Ten years later, having done some brilliant sprinting in between. Spanovic then, in this women's long jump final, she's in the bronze medal position, a national record of seven meters and one. Can she surpass Proctor's seven meters and seven? Can she surpass the huge seven meters and 14 of Bartoletta? She runs down for her final attempt in this women's long jump final. She needs everything she's got. Nope, she's gonna drop just on the seven meter line, shy of the solid yellow line. The white flag is raised. Well, it's 6.91 coming into today. She's just done seven meters twice. Wait for confirmation of the final jump. Wow, what a competition on the back straight in this women's long jump final. Seven meters and one. It matches a national record in the first round. The bronze medal is hers. Which means the lead has changed a few times in this women's long jump final. The Serbian rewarded her national record with a medal at the World Championships. Bartoletta, seven meters and 14 in the final round. There's only Shara Proctor that can snatch back the lead and take the gold back from the American. Seven meters and seven, backed up with a 701, but she's gonna have to pull a 715 out the bag. She's had the competition of her life. Has she got just a little bit more, the Briton? Final jump. She has a medal. What colour? Well, she gets the red flag. She will not surpass Tiana Bartoletta from the USA. But what just reward for the British athlete. Bartoletta, 7 metres and 14, takes the gold medal. Shara Proctor from Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Seven meters and seven in the third round. And the bronze, well, Spanovic of Serbia with that seven meters and one. Three women in the women's long jump final went over seven meters. That is absolutely outstanding. What a super competition. Yes, it's wonderful, isn't it, to see a really good standard in depth in one of the field events. As we've said before, the men's did, lacked that standard in depth. Just Greg Rutherford at top class, but women's long jump, really, that is wonderful jumping there. And uh, it's the best women's long jump uh, competition we've had for a very long time. Well, you've got to go back to 1991 for the last time. All three medalists were over seven metres. And the fact that Bartoletta's done that in the last round shows her competitive instincts and her class, just as Christian Taylor did in the triple jump last night with his monstrous 18-21. Sixth round, that takes bottle. It does indeed. And two golds then in the jumps. Christian Taylor last night with the huge jump in the triple jump, the second furthest of all time. Bartoletta going out to seven meters and 14 in the women's long jump. It really has been a wonderful night for the female long jumpers. A brilliant competition. There is Spanovic, the bronze medalist, 7.01, a national record. 
She really couldn't have done much more. Seven times now the USA have won this World Championship title. And Tiana Bartoletta, as we know, did it previously, as Peter mentioned, 10 years ago. She came back a decade later in a different part of the world, sprinted with the speed she has, and went out to 7 metres and 14. And there is confirmation of the women's long jump final. Goal for the USA, 7 metres and 14. Great Britain and Northern Ireland pick up another medal with 7.07. And the bronze medal to Spanovic in 7 metres and 1 centimetre.